You may be wondering, as do many of us, what else is there to say? Tom Sandoval is undoubtedly one of the messiest men of 2023, and I fully concur. But there's a catch. He's always been like this. When Vanderpump Rules first aired in 2013, Tom Sandoval was a part of the show's original cast. He worked as a bartender at SUR, where a lot of the early episodes of the show were recorded during that time. In the summer 2018, the Missouri native opened Tom Tom in LA with her co-star Tom Schwartz, Lisa Vanderpump, and her husband Ken Todd. The fall of 2022, Sandoval joined Schwartz as a co-owner of another eatery, Schwartz and Sandy's. Tom Sandoval on the most extras frontman tours when he's not filming the Bravo reality series or working at one of his restaurants. From seasons one through three, the TV personality's turbulent relationship with co-star Kirsten Duet was on display. Early in 2014, Sandoval made it known that he was dating Ariana Maddox on the Vanderpump Rules season two reunion. Fancy AF cocktails, drink recipes from a couple of the professional drinkers was the pair's first book, which was published five years later. Rarely does someone find their best buddy through a Craigslist ad. Rarely does that bond last through a reality TV show. However, that's exactly how it has worked out for Tom Sandoval and Tom Schwartz, co-star of the hit television show Vanderpump Rules, who have been close friends for a long time. Today, with the recently launched Tom Tom Restaurant and Bar in West Hollywood, the two are partners in business. The seventh season of the show is where all of this is currently taking place. The Toms has served as an example of male friendship over the years as we have witnessed both Toms go through ups and downs in their love relationships and professional life. This wonderful mess of a show has completely engulfed us, and we're not ashamed to acknowledge it. Here are six tips for being a good friend from perhaps the best couple on the program. Vanderpump Rules, in honor of the new season of the show, and the eagerly anticipated Tom Tom. 1. Back then, Sandoval surprise family reunion for Schwartz. Well, having a good time hanging out and going out with your best buddy, when was the last time you did something kind for them? Season 5, Schwartz discussed how his three triplet brothers couldn't afford to attend his wedding because they were so impoverished and shared a single cell phone. To get the three brothers on a plane and transport them to California so they could witness their brother's wedding, Sandoval, along with fellow BFF Jax, made it his mission. Needless to say, when the surprise was unveiled, there were many tears. According to Schwartz, it was the nicest thing anyone has ever done for me. The nicest thing that anyone's ever done for me. Jax, you little <laughs> bastards. <laughs> you little bastards. Bring it in for the good stuff, right? It's not always necessary to make such a showy gesture, but on sometimes prioritizing your closest buddy and offering assistance without being asked can go a long way. Two, the second instance was when Sandoval stood up for Schwartz when no one else did. Tom Shorts experienced a roller coaster of emotions throughout season 5 as he was accused of being unfaithful to Katie by both her and other people. He acknowledged that they made out two years ago, but insisted that nothing more happened. Over the course of the first few episodes of the season, the rest of the Vanderpump family didn't believe him and were critical of him. On a group vacation, Sandoval had had enough of the group's attack mentality and stood up for his closest buddy in the face of the gossip, claiming that Schwartz didn't deserve to be harassed this way and that everyone should leave him alone all while donning an elaborate drag costume and makeup. The moral of the story is to always speak out for your friends, even if you won't do it for themselves. Number three, that time at Schwartz's wedding when Sandoval made a tearful toast. Sandoval, who has struggled to control his tears throughout the series, offered an impassioned toast to his best buddy at his wedding in front of a large crowd, outlining why Schwartz is the kind of person no one in their right mind would not like. A good friend makes sure to occasionally let their best buddy know how much they value them, whether or not they're getting married, and want you to give a toast at the reception. It doesn't just f***ing love you, man. You're an amazing guy, dude. I guess let's cheers to Tom and Katie. It can be said in a text message or during a toast during a birthday meal. Even if you believe they already understand how you feel, there are occasions when speaking those feelings aloud strengthens the relationship. 4. The occasion when Schwartz told Sandoval he was going to propose. Schwartz gleefully describes to Sandoval in Season 4 how he intends to pop the question to the love of his life. When a potential engagement is involved, there is never a bad time to be a good friend and keep a secret. When it comes to significant junctures in life like this, best friends know when to keep their lips quiet. Your choice to share something this important with your best friend will be greatly appreciated by them. It conveys that you value their opinions and have a high level of trust in them. 5. That time Sandoval gave Schwartz his Tom number 1 ranking. Sandoval has long prided himself on being Tom number one in their friendship, a title that Schwartz jokingly allowed him to have. Sandoval over made the decision to give Schwartz that honor at his bachelor party getaway. He did this by giving Schwartz his Tom number one t-shirt, while simultaneously showing a Tom number two t-shirt underneath. What's more interesting is how Sandoval transferred a playful jest between the two into something more heartfelt. This particular act of friendship is a play on the fact that they have the same first name. Don't be scared to share the spotlight occasionally if you feel like the outgoing one among your friends. Always strive to be humble and unselfish. 
Number six, the occasion when Schwartz took Sandoval to the spa. No denying Sandoval has an old self-care routine. Does anyone else actually shave their forehead? Monthly tradition where we go to Voda Spa, go in the cold pool. Schwartz says he likes strong hands, so. No, I like soft hands. Oh. It's normal. The guy spends a lot of his leisure time maintaining his appearance between the man buns, tanning, and eyebrow threading. As a result, Schwartz frequently joins his friend on their outings. The two closest spouse currently go on weekly spa outings to get massages and use the steam room. These guys are confident enough in themselves that activities like going on spa dates with their friends makes as much sense as watching a football game while eating wings. Despite the fact that some guys might laugh at this idea. Live your best life and do what you love, even though other people might find what you and your closest friend enjoy to do together humiliating. More issue about him is coming because the cheating scandal was what brought down the internet. The nine-year relationship between Vanderpump Rules stars Tom Sandoval and Ariana Maddox ended when Mr. Sandoval had an affair with Rachel Levis, a co-star on the program. The scandal dubbed Scandaval dominated tabloid headlines for weeks as many committed viewers expressed disbelief that the affair came to light while well, the most recent season of the show was still airing. Who are Miss Maddox, Miss Levy, and Mr. Sandoval? Despite the fact that season 10's filming was completed last fall, when rumors of the affair began to circulate, production resumed in March. The outcome was the season finale, which featured a conflict between Miss Maddox and Mr. Sandoval, as well as a scene in which Mr. Sandoval and Miss Levy publicly confessed their love for one another. Allie Jones, a contributor to the New York Times and the creator of the weekly celebrity gossip newsletter Gossip Time, discussed Vanderpump Rules, the scandal, and the subsequent followed ahead of the show's three-part reunion on Wednesday in order to explain everything to those who are unfamiliar with it. Those who are offline are simply those who are having trouble keeping up. What's the premise of Vanderpump Rules? The Bravo TV reality series, The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills, served as a type of backdoor pilot for Vanderpump Rules, which debuted with a cheating scandal. Sheena Shea, a cast member of Vanderpump Rules, had an affair with one of the housewives, Brandy Glanville's ex-husband, Eddie Sabirian. The Beverly Hills franchise breakout star for nine seasons was the restaurateur Lisa Vanderpump. The show is based on the quirks and controversies of the staff at Lisa Vanderpump's restaurant, SUR. However, the majority of the cast members no longer work at the restaurant. They're still following along as they move into slightly nicer flats and homes, despite the fact that they've established new bars, businesses, and podcasts. While some fans have reacted favorably to Ariana, others have not. Tom has received mixed reviews. Rich L's fans have been friendly. For Bravo fans, the entire affair has been a gold mine. There are many details to sort through. People have now rewatched episodes of the show from before the affair began to look for clues. Fans have no shortage of information to sort through, including numerous claims. What do you think about this topic? Does it interest you? I'm sure we'll have more of this, so do not forget to visit and watch more.